Well, I think I mean, it's pretty obvious that it is what it is, and it's awful. It's devastating. As an athlete, I can't believe that people can cheat so easily and get away with it. And I also, what I find really awful to me personally is that I can take someone like Michael Berry, who I've known since he was 14 years old, and I know his passion for the sport, educated, beautiful human being, and it was able to corrupt even that beautiful mind and heart. And to me, that says the sport is in a really devastated place and change needs to happen, big change. I don't know what that change is, but I also think people need to realize that men's cycling is totally different than women's cycling. There's not, the money's not involved in the women's side of the sport. And there are girls that don't even have a salary that they're racing pro, you know? So the women's side of it actually has a lot of, I think, the purity that people love. And uh, if anything, I would say, check out the women's races. For now, until that the men's side is able to change, there's some awesome competition going on. I think the Olympic road race, the women's race, was phenomenal. You know, the time trial, there was so much depth. So there's a lot of good stuff going on the women's side, and, and I really hope that the industry doesn't, you know, put us in the same category as the men's side. And seeing a women, the women's Rabobank team have their sponsorship pulled at the same time as the men's is really disappointing, and I hope that differentiation is made.